doing? Mike here from MBG Adventures. It's a beautiful day today, Saturday. Just a little bit of clouds. A little mild for uh, April here anyway, in my parts of Canada. So uh, yeah, today's video, as you can tell from the title of it, is about the aerator that I just picked up the other day. So as you can see in the background there, I, I added something to the front of it. So let's have a talk about that. So I talked about this uh, in my last video there, about, the, uh, about getting the aerator. Yeah, she's a little dirty. Look at the tires are a little dirty now. I've been working her. I actually have some scratches on it already too. Well, you know what? Maybe not. Yeah, just a little scuff scratches. There's one right there too. But you know what? It's going to happen. Just uh, brushing against brush, you know, and tree branches. It's okay. This is a tool, right? If it's going to be shiny all the time, then you're not using it. You need to use it, right? How many hours do I have right now? Look at that, I got 6.3 hours on it already. I just got it a couple days ago, so that's not too bad. So I got the spreader done. So this was the uh, spreader I was talking about at the end of uh, my last video. So I picked it up. I apologize about the wind. There might be some wind noise here. Uh, I'll see you once I uh, have a look at the video. This is what I picked up on Amazon here. So like I said, uh, Xmark was, uh, I was looking at well over $2,000 plus taxes for uh, for a spreader. So I picked this up on Amazon. Now they have a whole bunch of different ones, but I don't know, I just got this one. I think it was about $240. It even comes with a shower cap. <laughs> it's for a big head. So, yeah, what we ended up doing, well, Justin Little, Helping me out, learning a little bit about welding, and I'm gonna learn a little more too. He actually left his welder here in my garage. That's great. I'm kind of scared to death to uh, work on it by myself. I want him, or at least a, a professional, someone that knows what they're doing, to show me <laughs> what's going on. But yeah, so like I said in the last video, there I, I just got a regular uh, a two inch uh, hitch bar, and without putting a ball on it. So this is normally where you would have your your ball, right, uh, for your trailer. We just welded on this bracket here, so it's not painted or anything. It's all good. It's pretty strong. This is the bracket for the spreader that I got. Well, it fits right in there. Now I put a bungee cord on here just because there's some movement there. We just have a little bit of movement. It is a little stronger. It was more flimsy. I don't know. I could figure out maybe a shim or maybe you guys have an idea how to make this a little tighter in there. Because I'm sure once I drive around with this thing, it'll move around a little more. But having material in here too would uh, add some weight to it. So, yeah, with this spreader here, so you get the controls here and attaches here and you get the power there. So I ran the power cable. Just it's, I know it looks kind of funny, it's hanging here, but that's all I can really do. I'm not going to plumb it all down because I want to be able to take this off too. I don't want to have it on the aerator all the time. And we have plans too. <clears throat> excuse me, making a hitch receiver like that, uh, adding a hitch receiver onto the stand-on mower. All right, so I got the 52 right here. 36 is uh, in the garage over there, but at least to the uh, 36. That's what we planned on doing. So then I can take this off and uh, put it on the 36 if I really wanted to, if I didn't want to have it on the aerator. So I can just uh, disconnect it right here too. Easily, I don't know if I can do it with one hand right now. Oh, there we go. Perfect. So this is the connector that it came with. And I just put a tie right here, as you can see, uh, cable ties. And I just have uh, that hooked up to the battery right there. So can't do, I need two hands to plug this back in right now, but yeah, just plug it right in. So this way, see, I can take that right off and I can pull that off the, uh, the hitch thing, take it right off the machine, easy, easy. So yeah, I had no choice with this. Uh, this is where it mounts. I, I don't mind. Actually, from from up top here, when you're uh, controlling the machine, just lean over. And I can actually reach it. I can hit the switch to turn it on, open and close. No problem. Easy, easy. Two hundred and forty dollars and a couple minute weld right there. Sure beats uh, paying well over two thousand dollars. Okay, so I just plugged it back in right there. So I'll hit the switch right here. There you go. 
for this thing. I'm not sure about this deflector right here. Like, we'll see. Anyway, I haven't tried it yet. You can see it's clean. I haven't tried this at all. This is going to be the first time in this video. If it doesn't work, then you guys are going to see. Um, <clears throat> with this deflector right here, there is a gap right here, so I'm not sure. Like, there is a bit of wind right now, so if I have grass seed, it's a little lighter. Uh, it might end up flying out here and around, you know, the mortar of the, uh, aerator and stuff. So, I don't know. We'll see. I guess I just have to drive fast and let it blow off all over the grass. So, let's have a go with this. I'm going to, I'm going to aerate the front lawn first here on my own property and then, uh, demonstrate the, uh, um, the spreader. Okay. Okay, I know it's not raining and the sun's out. I still put this cover on just because this, uh, there's a bit of a wind today. And this grass seed's just gonna blow right out. I have it pretty full right now. Yeah, we're gonna have a go at this. So I just finished uh, aerating the front lawn here. That took me, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes with this machine. It's not too bad. I'm not even out of breath or anything. Okay, so let's try this uh, spreader out for the first time. Try it with uh, some fertilizer. Put some magic carpet fertilizer in there. I'm still gonna put this uh, shower cap on the thing. I'm sure it's not gonna fall out, but I find that material when I'm high up here, it's, it's going to the back here, and it'll probably come out the back there. Let's see some grass seed in there. So far, it's, I think it's working pretty good.
Okay, so I think, it, I think that worked all right. See the fertilizer down. I don't think I put too much down. Pretty much about the same that I'll do with a, a walk behind spreader. Oh, neighbor's coming home with his bike. Last in the tunes, I gotta get another bike. So I think it did a pretty good job. See, there's a lot over there. It doesn't grow, doesn't look like it's gonna grow underneath these trees here. But at the end, suddenly uh, the spreader was just shooting out a whole bunch back here, or up here. Now, hopefully I didn't put too much down here. I was wondering why, and the uh, thing would not close, so I drove off quick. As you can see, it's all over the place here. So I didn't wanna keep on putting fertilizer down. Well, let's go have a look and see what happened. So yeah, right at the end, I, I knew it was running low anyway. Well, it's empty now. Well, that's why I drove off quick, off the lawn, because it just started coming in. I reached over, I'm doing this. Look at that, it's not moving. You guys see what happened? This cable right here, it's supposed to attach under there. Well, it was there, so let's put it up. So this part right here has to uh, get pinched in inside there and hold. So then, this is kind of hard to do with uh, one hand, but this cable right here has to hold up here, and then when you move this lever like that, yeah, I'm still holding it there, and now it's closed. All right, I'm gonna move this lever forward while I'm holding that. Now it's open. So see, it's sticking there now, but watch if I go down. See how it came off now? So I'm gonna have to, I'll figure something out here, how to uh, attach it better. Well, I'll, I'll open this up and then uh, put it back in there, no biggie. And we'll have another go with it another day. All in all, I think, uh, I think this little spreader I got on Amazon, what's it called here? The Yard Tough 80 pound lawn tractor spreader. I happened to get the last one on, uh, on Amazon anyway in Canada. I have a, a friend that asked me uh, for the link, Mike at MSC um, Lawn Care. Yeah, he's not too far away from me. He uh, he messaged me. He's like, send me the link. So anyway, I got the last one. Sorry, Mike. But yeah, all in all, like I said, uh, it, it worked great. I've never used a, a power spreader like this ever. That's the first time you guys witnessed it. Uh, I didn't practice or anything. It worked until the end, I knew it was running low on fertilizer and then I could not close that uh, the chute. Suddenly a whole bunch was coming out and I just burned rubber on the lawn right to the end there and spread it all out on the driveway there until I figured out what was going on, but it emptied out itself. So I'll blow that off anyway. So I don't think uh, I'm gonna do any damage to the lawn. I don't think too much uh, came out there. So it all worked pretty good. Just gotta do that little modification there, fix that cable, and I'll have another go with it, another day. I got some other things to do for the rest of the day. So I hope you enjoyed that video. I just wanted to kind of show you guys and girls uh, what I did there with that spreader and, and it works. That's all I can say, it works. <laughs> you don't have to walk, you know, behind a, a spreader or you don't have to have an addi additional length to your mower or aerator uh, with a tow behind. So it's just something I wanted to play around with and thanks to Justin uh, for welding that piece for me and uh, yeah, it seems to be working. So anyway, uh, be nice to everyone and do something nice for someone today, okay? And peace, we'll see you next time.